Hello, in this video we are going to create these vines and we're going to use Sweet Mesh for that. So I added a plane. Now I'm going to use my 2D pan and zoom tool and zoom up and pan down so we get a closer look at it. And I place this mesh um, where I think the general placement of this vine would be. And then um, I need to scale this up a bit down a bit. Um, and then I am going to select the mesh and make live. Just remember, make live, that makes it sticky. And then we are going to create a curve and generate a mesh from that. So we're going to go create, um, create curve tools. And the one I would prove, um, I would suggest is CV curve tool. And then we're going to start, we're going to, we're going to add extra on the end and the tip so that we can, or the beginning and the end so that we can, um, have this thing wrap around and go inside of the island. So I'm just going to start over here like this, and this will be the beginning. Kind of just spacing these out. You kind of want to go more than you usually would just because it's a little bit hard to add um, more resolution on this curve than it is than it is to just have a lot more than you originally thought. Okay, something like that. Then you need to go to create sweet mesh. And you'll notice it comes in really big. And I can hide this mesh. Uh, oh, turn off the make live. I'm talking about the plan when we can hide that. And then over on the right side, you click on mesh creator and scale profile. We'll want to bring that down to about the width and precision. Um, you can bring that up to get make the resolution. You don't want it to be super dense, but enough that you can get the general um, silhouette and everything working. And you could try out these different modes, but and optimize. See how optimize gets rid of these areas where there's not much of a curve. It kind of it's kind of nice. Um, and then you'll also have to play with taper curve so that you get this. I'm going to hit 4. So this is tapering that much it looks like. Looks good. And then kind of have to find play with this until you get what you need. You might have you can also adjust the curve. So I'm going to select the curve over here. Right click over it. Oh, that might be a little difficult to do that with the geometry over it. Um, so you can hide the sweep. So Control H and then Shift H. Um, Control H to hide, Shift H to unhide. And I'm going to move this Control Vertex. I'm going to move this up so it's more in the center. That. that and same with this area bring that down and right now this was made on a plane so we want to add more kind of effects or more natural shape to this because it's flat and I'm going to actually put on my perspectives and there we go Then I'm just going to control vertex to shape this. You can also use soft select by pressing B. So I'm selecting and holding down B and middle mouse and dragging, and that will give them a gradation. So going like this, move it up. So 
So you know, something wavy-ish in here. Kind of turns into the, there we go. That okay, and since we want this to go around our object, I probably would want to add more definition to this so that they can make it sticky and have the um curve go around it so um we might want to add a edge loop here so i'm double selecting that and saying bridge or bevel sorry and i'm going to make that smaller one and then i'm going to smooth it couple times and then I am going to use my sculpting tools up here to shape it so I'm gonna pull this down about this one but this way this over here that kind of thing and then I get a similar shape to this Do that okay so I'm gonna make this live and I'm gonna select these vertices and if I move them a little a little bit it'll snap to it so you might want to do that one at a time see how it snaps to it Then move this stuff to the back. This look around it. And then I will probably just play with this a little more. Um, I wonder if we can use that. I guess you can. Um, so I'm just going to go and start moving this stuff away from it a little bit. There you go. There we go. Let's get a little messed up here. Okay. So now I have this. I'm going to go over and unhide the sweep. I'll have that piece going through there. Um, just be aware that if you delete history, um, that will break the connection of the curve. So if I go to edit, I think that will, let's see. Yep. Yep. So it breaks the connection to the curve to the object. So uh, make sure you get that that um, settled first before you delete your history. All right. See you in the next video.